The TikTok pink sauce lady is in denial. How she still doesn't understand that she fumbled a massive opportunity is beyond me, but she's still blaming everyone except for herself. And also the company that gave her a massive opportunity of a lifetime for her own product's downfall. At this point, we have well-documented this dumpster fire of a business that started off as a health hazard on TikTok. Then in defense, she went on to live saying that the FDA is not her problem because she doesn't make medicine. What do you mean FDA approved? I don't sell medical products. Then she allegedly staged that the FDA showed up to her house. And somehow after all of that, she was invited onto a talk show where they ambushed one of the critics of her food, which was a customer. It was an unhappy customer who criticized the product because it smelled like it was rotting. So what did they do on that talk show? Well, they essentially gaslit the critic saying it was her fault for not supporting another female business owner. I think this is a moment of reflection. Absolutely. And I think it's a mo moment of learning on both parts. I think the learning is more on your part. Yes. Okay. And that's being real. And then being, this is being real here because I literally, the thing is the matter of that she is, her business, her, her livelihood, her safety is being affected now. And these are things that we don't think about. Mm -hmm. This moment is for you to realize that your power is really in what you're saying and what you're doing. And that one video that you did for that second, the follow-up video had ripple effects that you have to acknowledge is there. Because if it was on the other foot, you'd be sitting here upset, crying mad if you had to move every week because you and your child were in danger. Absolutely. So this is the moment for you just to say, you know what? Next time, I will take this step. Before I post something, I'm gonna do my research. Before I do something, I'm gonna reach out to her. Before I do something, I'm really gonna realize, is this really my responsibility? Your responsibility is to build each other up as women. Does it get much more delusional than that? I don't think so. I guess they just completely disregarded the fact that she was an unsatisfied customer. I actually interviewed that customer and unfortunately she held back massively as she signed a NDA. So she couldn't really go too much into detail about what happened on that talk show. But after seeing all that, one would think, wow, that is an absolute dumpster fire. Thank goodness that that just stays on TikTok. Psych. We're not even close to finished with the story because what I just said somehow got the pink sauce lady a national deal with Dave's Gourmet and they put it in Walmarts all over the nation as seen on TikTok and Instagram. Pink sauce. Enhance. Look at that digital zoom. And yes, I will be tasting the sauce at the end of the video, but also this is the Dave's Gourmet sauce, not her at home made in the kitchen sauce. August the Duck already took one for the team and tried that one and he confirmed that it wasn't great. And honestly, I trust his judgment enough to not put my pancreas at risk to prove him wrong. So what happened after the pink sauce lady signed a deal with Dave's Gourmet? Well, one would think it would be smooth sailing from there. All she had to do was focus on promoting the sauce regularly on her social media pages and then just wait for the royalty checks to come on in. But instead, she just kept asking for money as it seems like she took the advance money from the deal and blew it on a lavish lifestyle. And then one of the main reasons for the fallout between Chef P and Dave's Gourmet is because they did not want to pay for a $10,000 pink sauce themed birthday party for her. Just saying that has me confused. How is this a real thing? How is a $10,000 pink sauce birthday party going to help market this sauce? So that relationship fell out and she then made a bunch of videos claiming that Dave's Gourmet is scamming her. This then forced Dave's to actually address the situation and they did so very well. From Chef P, the story was just all over the place and it just didn't make sense. But from Dave's, it actually made sense and added up. I have a half hour long video covering all that you can check out in the description down below and or at the end of this video. But let's move on to what's currently happening with the pink sauce as the pink sauce lady, aka Chef P, is still in denial. After all this time, she is back to calling out Dave's Gourmet. This company really think they gonna take my product and get away with it. First of all, I don't know what's going on with the pink sauce. I don't know where the pink sauce at, where it's being distributed. It's finished. Who's selling it. I don't know anything going on behind the scenes. Would y'all believe these people sent me an email this morning talking about they gonna send me a check for $121. Lord Jesus, take the wheel. The sauce isn't selling. Like, 
like, I, I didn't get this from Walmart because it's not in Walmart anymore. I had to buy it off eBay. They're not collecting royalties off of a reseller. Separation is normal. Shake before using. I am really not looking forward to trying this, honestly. Man, it's colored with titanium dioxide. <laughs> what? But Chef Pete, it's over. You destroyed the brand. They had to move on. They have other sauces. They don't need the pink sauce. This was probably them listening to some intern and giving an influencer a chance. I wouldn't be surprised if this scared them away from working with all influencers for a while because somehow Chef P turned them taking a chance on her into a massive PR nightmare. I really need legal help to get out of this deal. I want it to be removed. It's I don't know what's over. Going as far as I've seen, the pink sauce was gray. That's the only thing that I know and that it was in Dollar Tree. Like I really need some legal help. I don't know what to do, but I just feel like being silent is not the solution. I've constantly been burying myself with isolation. I'm healing myself because I refuse to go down mentally, but I refuse to let my business go as well. If someone knows of an attorney that will be willing to take this case or an attorney that would be willing to hear me out to help me with this situation because the agreement is not even legal. The agreement is not even binding. The agreement is freaking ambiguous. The agreement is ambiguous. Okay, so we haven't seen the contract, but from what Dave's has told us is she benefited massively from this. All she had to do was focus on promoting the sauce. Instead, she kept attacking her own sauce on her social media pages. Her biggest problem with the sauce, it seems like, is the fact that the sauce isn't pink. It kind of looks like a honey mustard. There's a pink label on it. It's acceptable as the pink sauce in my head because I mean, hey, there's a pink label, but it does look like honey mustard. I hope it tastes like honey mustard because I don't mind honey mustard, but uh, I have a feeling it's not just looking at the ingredients. Let's continue this. There are no details and I'm held to a piece of paper. Someone is literally destroying my legacy because they were not truthful when I signed this piece of paper and I just really want to get out of this. But I refuse to go down. I refuse to go down mentally and I refuse to be- She signed this without a lawyer I present? I created an amazing product and I finally found a solution for it. The pink season and mix is a solution for it and there are so many amazing things that you can do with it. Okay, uh, that can't be the solution. I think August said he spent about $100 on all the ingredients just to make one sauce packet into the sauce, which is not sustainable for a sauce packet worth of sauce. This, I think, was sold for like, what, 7 or $8 at Walmart. I had to buy a reseller price for it. I, I think I probably paid like $25 for this thing, unfortunately. But I guess it might be worth it for this video. Also, at least then I can say I've tried the pink sauce because as of right now, I cannot say I've tried the pink sauce because it's still sealed. I wrote a book about mental health and coping with whoa, whoa, what? And depression because no lie it's been an everlasting journey this is from I left field i can't wait for this pain to be over but back to me being calm <laughs> who in their right mind would want to take mental health advice from the pink sauce lady i have never came across a post from her and thought to myself my life needs to be a little bit more like hers this video is all over the place what it's a it's a three minute video we're 66 percent through and we've talked about how she's being scammed how she's now apparently an author she's written a mental health help book and uh what could the last portion of the video be so I wrote a book, y'all, about <laughs> mental health and how dragon fruit helped me get through anxiety and depression. No, I'm not a doctor. No, I'm not a therapist. No, I am. I am, do not have any medical practice, but I do know the information that helped me out, y'all. Check my book out. And also, if you know of an attorney, Please send me a message. Have somebody to message me. What is going on? This just sounds scammy. Send me an email, y'all. I need y'all help above the negativity to fix this product so I can bring the amazing product to distribute it, y'all. Like, for real. I can't be quiet. But I'll give y'all the rest of this later. 
because this chicken was real good. My pineapple chicken. What is this video? I got scammed. I'm not taking any accountability. Buy my mental health book. I healed my mental health with dragon fruit. Does anyone have an attorney I can use for free? And or does anyone want to invest in me and my product and be a business partner with me, even though I have a terrible business track record and I publicly outed my last business partner for scamming me when in reality they gave her a massive opportunity. She just has a terrible track record. It just does not make sense, but it gets so much worse. And I wonder why y'all been seeing it on clearance at Walmart. Because it's not pink. Simple as that. When that is not the only reason. It's supposed to be a pink sauce. Why does the one that I make stay pink for a long time? It has no artificial additives or coloring or nothing like that. I ain't got a lot of nobody. Why does mine stay shelf stable? Because I wasn't involved in the production of the product. Okay. She also sent out foodborne illness to her first batch of customers. So, I mean, she's not really in the position to be talking too much here. Could do without the canola oil and uh, sodium benzenate, but uh, it's not the worst batch of ingredients. At least there's like no food dyes in it, or well, that could be the titanium dioxide. Man, I don't know. I'm no, I'm no, I'm no food doctor. I'm a freaking commentary channel, man. I don't, I don't know the things. I, in my head, these ingredients aren't terrible when you compare them to other fast food products, but I definitely look at this sauce as a fast food sauce. It's not something that you would want to be eating every day. Sure, her homemade sauce might actually be a lot healthier, but the problem is it's not going to be stable because most likely it's just fresh ingredients and fresh ingredients go bad very quickly. And I guess she's mentioned here that they didn't want to have the sauce in cold storage. I guess that just complicates things way more because the product doesn't last as long. That means they have to sell more product quicker and it probably costs way more store and it just eats into their profit margins. And clearly this brand was already not doing well with her reputation. So why she would wanna make things even more expensive for them is beyond me. But clearly business is not her strong suit. When I signed that piece of paper or whatever it was supposed to be because it's not an agreement, but whenever whatever happened, I was under the impression that I would be running my business and that they would be following my lead and helping me bring my product into major distribution. They brought your product into major distribution. It was in Walmarts all across the nation. This is your product, technically. It's like the product that isn't foodborne illness. They made your product shelf stable. I don't see her problem here. Like, I guess her problem is, oh, it's not pink. Sure, but that's less important than taste. Taste is going to be the most important thing. I'm not looking forward to that part. But you see all of that, what used to happen back in the day when big companies would use their money and then they would take from people who had amazing ideas and they would take their ideas and then leverage it with their money. But see what they would do is take their inventions and these people didn't have a platform they didn't have a voice they didn't have anything to really protect themselves from people who go and do this but this is a new day and time and baby i'm not sleeping on my invention i'm not sleeping on my creation and you could call it what you want to call it but there are so many different amazing entrepreneurs that have even used my idea as inspiration to oh that came off really quick oh that's not smart no i should not have that i'm worried it wasn't sealed properly it smells like a a curdled sweet ranch I'm like contemplating everything if I even want to try this now. Oh no. The, just the fact that the this this part, I didn't have to peel it off. It just like fell off. I bought a second one as well as a safety. Should I be able to smell it before I even open it? Okay, this smells better than the other one. Ugh.
The thing about this as well is like, I can't even blame Dave's Gourmet from it because I'm buying it from a reseller. I didn't go and buy it from Walmart or Dollar Tree. So there's a lot more variables that can come into play here, which is why I'm even more sussed out. But the first one's definitely bad. This one smells like a wine pizza that you put ranch on. That's li like, it's like a pineapple ranch is what it smells like. I completely forgot what she was yapping about. Okay, wait. Make amazing products themselves. So the pink, whole pink food, pink sauce things. Y'all can say what y'all want to say, but baby, wasn't nobody making pink food before the pink sauce lady came out and went viral. Now everybody wants That's to make pink food. That's not everybody even true. Trending pink natural food. And so it's on clearance because it's not right. It's going to stay on clearance because it's not right. And y'all can tag Walmart in this because I haven't seen nothing at no Walmart or no other store. Because you literally outed the company for scam you. This product has been in like a nonstop controversy since it launched. And when you're buying food, you don't want to be buying controversial food, especially when the food basically launched on the fact that it was making people ill. And then everyone saw the talk show. Like people don't want to support toxic business owners, especially for non-essential items. You can argue and be like, oh, there are some toxic business owners out there but they make a product that is essential. So people still buy them or the price is just so good that they just keep going back to that company. The pink sauce, it's pretty easy to live your life without buying the pink sauce. So it's, it's not that essential. So that's like the big problem here. Because, and it's my business, it's my product and I don't even know where it's at. That's crazy. But these people got the nerve to email me some crazy mess, but yeah this food was good and i love marketing as you can see because the box was real cute why didn't you just market the sauce that's all you had to do instead of like tear down your sauce you just had to market it while dave's were running the show here she's blaming dave's even more y'all keep asking the same question over and over again and i keep answering the same question over and over again don't ask me ask dave's gourmet Dave's Gourmet should know why the sauce turned yellow when it hit the shelves. You cannot boil a naturally colored product and expect it to sustain its color. I've told them that a million times. Well, they need it to be shelf stable. They can't they, they can't have it be cool making people back. sick. This is my company. This is my product. I'm definitely not giving up on it. I'm definitely going to continue to post my videos. I'm definitely going to continue to show the world that my product is amazing. And the pink sauce will be globally distributed very soon. Like I told y'all, this she's is in complete business. denial. This is not Dave's gourmet business whatever they did to try and take over my business ultimately they will fail and that's that but this is the real pink sauce as you can see dave's gourmet did not build themselves off of the pink sauce this was a side project to see if it worked clearly it did not work for them so they're just back to usual. They're they're back to what do you, or not even back to usual. They're, they're just pumping out the sauces that make them money and keep them in business. The pink sauce clearly was not a profitable venture for them. So all of y'all that be saying, oh, just give up. Throw it out. Biggest flop ever. Put the fries in a bag. Da -da 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 -da. All of this stuff to try to discourage me. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try the sauce while we watch this. I don't I didn't have any fries or anything because it's late at night. Actually, early in the morning. I'm, I'm recording this video at six in the morning. So I have a uh, you know some some a Scandinavian delicacy here. We got a uh, knekkebra, which uh, Americans might look at this and be like, "Wow, that looks like uh, prison food." Are times rough for you right now? And I say, well. This is a very common Norwegian breakfast and lunch fiber. I guess it's a bread replacement. It's kind of like bread. It's it's like a bread cracker thing, you know? Yeah. We put cheese, we put meats on it, we put caviar, we put eggs on it. Scandinavian core. So I thought this would uh, not hide the flavor of the pink sauce at all. So I can get the full goodness of the pink sauce. And hopefully this doesn't send me to the ER. It tastes like pineapple ranch with a slight hint of jalapeno. Yeah, no, that is exactly what it tastes like. It tastes like pineapple and jalapeno pizza that you put ranch on. That's how I would describe it. Six out of 10. Like, it, it's fine. I, I wouldn't go and opt for the sauce, but it's also like, it's not terrible. It's like, eh. 
All right, been there, done that. All right, what's she happen about? I'm going forward to my dreams, baby. Do you realize that I have a competitor that's a billion dollar go global company? They were on your team until you tried to ruin them. Decades or maybe even a hundred years. I don't even think they're competing with you anymore. Do you understand that? Do you understand that I am the only person that can bring the real pink sauce, how it's supposed to be bright and beautiful in color to fruition because God gave me this vision. The billion dollar global company fell without me. It wasn't pink. It was like uh, not pink. It was coral. Okay, so if a billion dollar company cannot make it succeed, why can she? Uh, oh man, like I kind of want to feel sorry for her, but I also don't. She is here because of her own actions. Clearly, the market is not interested in the pink sauce. So who knows? W what is her plan to get this off the ground now? The company tried to forsake me and do things behind my back. The deal went horrible. The pink sauce is not even in Walmart anymore. Was I contacted? Because it wasn't was I notified? selling. I no. All they did was send me emails each week every to see how they could scheme me and I ignored them. Wait, why are you ignoring the company? The only helping hand that you have. Why are you ignoring them? Now, as for me, I realize that I am very comfortable in the decisions that I will be making going forward. And every great person has to go through a storm. Like these trials and these tribulations that I've been facing, like, listen, the pink sauce ain't made one sale this month. Not one single sale. But guess what? I still post my product. I still post and do what I have to do because I believe in my my vision. I believe in my brand. And most importantly, when the world gets to experience it, when I have that conversation with the person who could get me to where I need to be. Pink Sauce is a pink sauce created by TikTok user Veronica Shaw, better known by her screen name Chef P. Food and safety labeling concerns caused Food and Drug Administration to stop the production and online sale of pink sauce. That's what comes up when you Google pink sauce. And then here's her website, which is not available. No, no wonder you're not selling pink sauce if you can't even get into your store when i meet that investor or when god give me the opportunity listen it only takes one day for your entire life to change and i feel like god had to take me through this because for me to grow into the person that i want to be i had to go through a humbling experience i had to make decisions that were not good experiences so i can have the power of discernment in the future the process in the way of life we see our struggles as problems, but really your struggle can be a rich. Really, well, your that's true. But you also have to admit your faults and as a million dollars in your bank account. Okay, that's not just as valuable as a million dollars. Like you don't have to learn the hard way. Obviously, L's you can turn them into lessons, but it doesn't seem like she's turning these L's into lessons because she's still attacking the company that gave her a massive handout. She's still not taking any accountability or why the sauce is where it is today. I'm assuming the original product or her version of the product probably tastes pretty similar to this. And it's not like this is going to replace barbecue sauce or ketchup or mayo or mustard anytime soon. It wouldn't be a condiment I would throw on my hot dog. It's a weird TikTok niche. It's more of like a trendy product. And I feel like that ship has kind of sailed, unfortunately for her, because it needs a complete rebranding. She needs to find a use for the sauce and then somehow she has to make it likable again. And everyone's first impression of the sauce is terrible. So she's fighting a massive uphill battle. Because God is taking you through the journey of being yourself. And I am being taken through the journey of being myself, who I really am, making the, the decisions that I need to make as an entrepreneur, making the decisions that I need to make as a creator. But wait, why is she preaching rather than just doing? Why is she saying all this? It just doesn't make sense. My vision wasn't as clear. Confusion was so near me. And now I'm just moving forward to greater things. I do believe that the pink sauce will be globally distributed around the world. I do believe that people in the world will be able to taste my amazing 
invention. I truly, truly believe because the pink sauce was created for way more than just your taste buds, even though it tastes absolutely amazing and the color is beautiful. What else would it be created so for? Things that you can do with it. The pink sauce, dragon fruit literally healed me. Dragon fruit literally changed my entire life. And I'm going to share that journey with y'all. But oh. this is my mission on earth to help y'all and y'all don't even see it. I went to, through so many dark times in my life, so many experiences that I never share with y'all. So many things that I didn't open up to say. Yeah, I don't know if this is healing, bud. We do have dragon fruit puree in it, though. As seen on TikTok and Instagram, from TikTok to table, shock your taste buds with flavor and thrill. Taste Chef P's famous sweet and tangy sauce made vibrant with dragon fruit and spices. Oh, boy. And somebody put a comment under my post where I was like, I don't give a crap or whatever. I don't give a monkey tushy and all of that. Right? Like, oh, isn't it too late for you to say, like, you don't care? It's never too late for you to say you don't care. No, because at when before I could say I care, like I was taunted. I was going through so much. But this isn't helping your product move forward. Like you need to be playing the volume game. You need to be hammering out content, promoting your sauce day and night. You, you need to first apologize for everything you need to take action what are your steps to move forward oh it's such a lost cause you had every single person on your team to make this happen aka D dave's gourmet but somehow she fumbled it hard you're gonna need someone at the caliber of dave's gourmet to make this work as a partner and i'm not sure she can convince someone to do that when they can easily call up dave's gourmet and be like okay what what happened here uh should we go into business with this woman because i would uh, run i would run for my life if uh, she ever tried to approach me to do business together doing the thought experiment how could she save the pink sauce she would have to somehow make the pink sauce look appetizing it would need to be really trendy again so she would have to be getting a lot of views over and over again and then somehow she would have to create a demand for it she would need to fix the image of the brand that's the problem but her attitude is not fixing the image of this product when people hear about the pink sauce they think foodborne illness and a nasty business owner and then some may think uh, eternal drama with dave's gourmet it's just not the product i want to go buy to bring home for my family to eat. that that's the issue that i didn't share with the world that i didn't say and so now i can say i don't care I don't care about their opinions. They could tell me to put the fries in yeah, the bag. So yeah, they could tell you to put the fries in the bag. But yeah, it's too late now. Really, really thank you for bringing that into fruition for me, for the things to work out. Okay? But yeah, and also, I contacted Keith Lee. I don't know, but if y'all want Keith Lee to try the pink sauce, <laughs> please tag him in this post like for real but like i told y'all isolation is no longer my thing like when you battle with i don't even know if the keith lee effect can help this you know getting yourself together well me myself i tend to isolate that's like one of my protection mechanisms for myself but i'm no longer isolated i went through something wait wait a second wait a second so she doesn't even have a, a product to send to Keith. Like, she can't send this bottle to Keith Lee even. So she's, like, going to go, okay, take, here's the packet, which is currently unavailable. But also go out and buy sweet and sour sauce, milk, sour cream, mayo, and all the things that August had to buy. I forgot the whole list of them. Have him make it and then taste <laughs> It's just, it's too many steps. She has to make it simple. It needs to be in one packaging or it needs to be simple enough to where you can take the powdered bag and mix it into sour cream or something like just a one item thing. I don't know if they're big in the US or not, but I, I definitely like growing up in Norway, we'd always buy a bag of chips, can of sour cream, and then like a, like a powder packet to pour into the can of sour cream to use as a dip for the chips. That was very popular. I don't know if that's super popular here. That could work with her product, but she needs to make it way more simple than what it is currently. It was super simple, but she blew that. I don't know. I lost somebody so close to me and it really tore me up. But guess what? I'm moving forward. I'm no longer being quiet. I look 
good. I will share with you guys my vegetarian diet because I thought I was going to be a vegan, but child, I ain't going to be a vegan. But long story short, baby. Like, can vegetarians eat seafood? Because I just saw her with like a whole bucket of crab earlier. Maybe they can. Maybe they can't. Who knows? Um... <laughs> Is this it? Is this is this all she's talking about? Pink sauce. Pink sauce will be globally distributed all around the globe, all around the world. I have people writing me all the time and I just look and I'm patiently waiting. I'm actually moving and doing things in silence as well. But I'm waiting because God got something here for me. Hey, if she can pull off this comeback power to her that would be absolutely phenomenal if she can somehow figure out how to turn around this product that would be something universities would study if she could actually pull this around and make it more popular than ever and actually liked who knows but clearly she's in denial again if the pink sauce didn't work when all the stars were aligned it's a massive uphill battle to get it to work now especially when most people's first impression of her is terrible i'm all for people going out there and achieving their dreams in business but you also have to have humility. She kicked off her company with a dangerous product and she still hasn't apologized for it. And everything is always, or it's just always someone else's fault for some reason with her. It's just a bad mentality to have and people see it and they don't want to support it. And if you want to see the full story of how we got here, you can check out the video in the top of the description down below or right here. But if you've already seen that, YouTube thinks you'll enjoy this video. And if you're new here, feel free to subscribe or you might not see me again. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.